Hey everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement the Wish Suite plugin in a WordPress theme. If you are not familiar with the Wish Suite plugin, it is an incredible WordPress plugin that allows you to integrate the Wishlist feature into your WooCommerce store. Today, you'll learn how to add a Wishlist button that will look exactly the same as the buttons you have in your theme. Here, I am going to use the Flown WordPress theme. Let's move forward and install the plugin. First of all, type in Wish Suite in the search box. Once the plugin appears in the search results, install the plugin. After completing the installation, make sure that you have activated the plugin. In the Flown theme, you'll find that the Wishlist feature has been implemented using another plugin name. Yith WooCommerce Wishlist. A specific function is available in the theme to display the Wishlist button. Since both the plugins incorporate a Wishlist button to the theme, we'll have to customize the function a bit. This way, we can give the function a few instructions so that it only displays the Wishlist button of the Wish Suite plugin when the plugin is active. In case the Wish Suite plugin is not installed, but the Yith WooCommerce Wishlist is active, then the function will display the Wishlist button of the Yith WooCommerce Wishlist plugin. Now, this type of function may be located in different places, depending on the theme. For example, in the contentproducts.php file, you can add the shortcode if you want. First of all, we'll need to find out where the function is located in the theme, because that is where we are going to edit. Now, Let's go to the theme folder and find out where the function exists. As you can see, the function is written in this file. In this function, we'll also find that there is a condition available to support the Yith WooCommerce wishlist. Now we are going to add another condition so that the theme supports the Wish Suite plugin as well. Let me show you how to implement the conditions step by step. We'll start by looking in the plugin folder for the main class name of the Wish Suite plugin. Once we know what exactly the main class is, we'll create a condition using the class exists that checks whether the plugin is installed or not. If the class exists, then code inside the condition will be executed. On the other hand, this function is already added to the contentproducts.php file. It means that if we make any changes here, it will automatically bring changes over there. Now, I am going to customize the function a bit. First of all, let's move this output variable from here and initialize it over here so that the variable can be accessed from both places. Now that we have initialized the variable, Let's check how the design looks. We'll integrate a Wishlist button that looks like this. The button from the Wish Suite plugin will appear in the beginning. To find out what classes the button is using, let's inspect the button element and write down those classes over here. To display the Wishlist button, we have to add the shortcode by using the do shortcode function. Since we don't know what's the shortcode here, we'll find out from the plugin folder. As you can see, the shortcode has been found in this file. Now, copy the shortcode and paste it over here. Don't forget to return the output. Since this code snippet will only work if the Wish Suite plugin is not installed, keep this snippet inside an else if condition. Let me tell you how it will work. First of all, it will check if the Wish Suite plugin is active or not. If the plugin is active, then this code will be executed. Otherwise, it will move on to the next condition. It seems that this variable is meant to be used for the Wish Suite plugin, so we'll move this variable from here and put it right here. Now, I am going to reload the page to see how it looks. 
it seems exactly the same as the design, right? But if you look closely, you will find only one difference, and that is the button icons are different. Because the theme buttons are designed with Stroke 7 and Font Awesome icons, but the plugin is using SVGs for the icons. Let me show you how to make this icon look exactly the same as the theme. It can be done in two different ways. Firstly, the arguments of this button are added to a filter. To change the icons, we can make use of that filter. Another way we can accomplish this is by overriding the template directly. It is the same process we follow while overriding any default WooCommerce templates. Now, let's move forward and see how it is done by overriding a template. First, let's go to the Wish Suite plugin folder. There we'll find a folder named Templates. After opening the folder, we'll see that there are three templates available. Among these three templates, two templates are used for the Wishlist button, one for the Exist button, and another for the Add button. Here, the Add button means the button that appears before a product is added to the Wishlist. On the other hand, the Exist button will appear only if a product already exists in the Wishlist. Now we are going to modify both the buttons for the Wishlist table. Let me show you how to override these templates. First of all, copy the files. Then we'll open the theme folder. Here we can put the template files inside the WooCommerce folder, but it will also work if we put them outside the WooCommerce folder. Since we are working with WooCommerce related stuff, we'll simply paste the files inside the WooCommerce folder to keep things organized. Now let's open this file. As you can see, there are a variety of attributes available for the wishlist button, such as class, data added text, and so on. This attribute controls what text to display when a product is added to the wishlist through Ajax. Now let's replace this variable with an icon, as we want to make it look exactly like the theme. After that, we'll replace the added text variable with another icon that matches the theme style. After we've made these changes, we'll refresh the page again. As you can see, everything looks the same as the theme we are using. Now, if I add a product to the wish list, you'll see that the default added text has been replaced by the icon we used. That means the product has been added to the wish list. Everything seems to be all right so far. Let's see if the exist button is properly working or not. To do that, we are going to refresh the page again. We can see that the already exist button is properly displayed over here, and it is coming from the exist button template. If we want to override this template as well, we'll need to open it first. To show that a product already exists on the wishlist, we are going to replace the existing content with this icon. After reloading the page again, we'll see that the icon has been added. It means this product is already on the wishlist. So, this is how you can override the templates to make the buttons look the same as your theme design. If you are also interested in learning how to do this without overriding the templates, you'll have to make use of the existing filter that the plugin comes with. Let me show you how to accomplish this by utilizing the existing filter. Since we are going to use the filters, we don't need to override these two templates. As you can see, we have returned to the previous state and the button is not the same anymore. Now we are going to open the WooCommerce.php file of our theme, where a function has been written to display the wishlist button. Here we'll use the filter. Let's write add filter. We are not sure what exactly the filter name is, so let's go to the Wish Suite plugin folder to find out the filter name. Here we can see the desired filter for the wishlist button, and this is the name of the filter. Now we'll fill out the arguments for the add filter function. Firstly, insert the filter name. After that, we'll add a callable function that accepts only one parameter. Then, insert the priority number 
and finally set the number of parameters that the function accepts. Now, inside this function, we are going to add some code that will be executed when the filter is applied. If you don't know what parameters are available to use for the button, we'll surf the plugin folder again. You will get to see that the button is generated via a shortcode. So, these are the parameters that you can access while using the filter. First of all, we want to change the button text. All we need to do is assign this icon to the button text. After that, we'll change the button added text and replace it with this icon instead. In the same way, we'll assign this icon by changing the content of the exist button. Finally, return this argument and save all the changes. Let's go ahead and reload the demo once again. We'll see that everything has become the same again. Hope you guys have understood everything I have shown in this video. So that's it from me today. If you have any kind of questions, please feel free to let us know in the comments below. Thank you.